What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. So what is the point of numbers? The point of numbers are to remind you of your inner self. To remind you of why you came to this earth in the first place. To help you find your purpose in life. So is astrology. But we're talking about numbers today. So, what are numbers? Symbols, different vibrations, different energies. So you can be aware of self, a reminding and finding tool. You have a whole chart, not just one number. You also have astrology, astronomy, genetics, your environment, your sex, your gender, your roots, your culture, your appearance, and your personal life experience. That make up the whole you. So don't get lost in one number. You know, don't get lost in your life path because you got a destiny number, personality number, soul urge number, this number, that number. You have astrology, astronomy, uh, everything. Y'all know. So we got all that, right? So don't get, don't just get stuck on one aspect. It's just one aspect of the whole you. So that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to give a little quick disclaimer. So when you when you studying and researching and gathering your information, don't get stuck on one aspect of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't look at your life app and be like, oh, and then you just follow your life app everywhere. And you just ignore your destiny and your soul urge number and your personality number and you ignore your astrology chart. And you can do that if you want to, but I'm just saying don't <laughs> don't get lost like that. You know what I'm saying? It just one aspect of the whole you. Peace out. Number four. Number four is a physical number. It's more material than mental and emotional. Number four can be looked at as the earth opposite the sun. You can also throw some Uranus energy in there. Positives for number four, practical, organization, order, logical, realistic, hardworking, grounded, structured, stability, security, balance, physically strong, get things done, detailed, reliable, understands boundaries. Some negatives for four are shy, slow, Stubborn, argumentative, fixed, too serious, unimaginative, too materialistic, too dry, and you sprinkle some water on her, too practical, and stays in the comfort zone and dislikes changing their routine. So, four, as a four, you either value traditions or you you the one that like to start a revolution. You know, you don't want to live by tradition. But most fours do like to follow tradition. Uh, I like to say try new things and think about new ideas and new routines and action. You know, try different routines sometimes. Don't get stuck in the same routine. Loosen up and relax. It's not all about security. Life is not all about being stable and secure. Life is also about messing up and being vulnerable and making mistakes and learning from that. It's not all about security. It's other aspects to life other than security. Get outside of your comfort zone. Don't put yourself in a box trying to be so structured. Relax, especially physically. Incorporate creativity, ideas, intuition, and learn compassion. You understand and you are aware of your limitations and restrictions. This doesn't mean that you limit yourself. This just means that you know your strengths and weaknesses more than most of the other numbers do. 
which means you, you, you know how to grow and you know how to strengthen your weaknesses. You understand how to do that and have compassion for people who don't and also have compassion for people who don't understand boundaries and restriction because everybody don't understand boundaries and restriction. As far as uh, job, career, vocations, anything hands-on, sports, anything practical, trades, technicians, craftspeople, machinists, managers, economics, physicians, chiropractors, teachers of manual arts, sports, and fitness, authors of technical books and magazines. Now, for four negative tendencies to be worked on, it is quite common for four people to become totally absorbed in their work and to unthinkingly neglect to bring balance to their lives, especially their home life. If they do not have a strong emotion or equilibrium, they can easily lose heart due to frustrated ambition, leading to nervous problems and stress-induced illnesses. Should they neglect the need for a balanced life, an overly materialistic outlook could easily develop. This can lead to emotional insecurity and chronic unhappiness, greatly inhibiting the development of their purpose in life, namely practical service. Recommended development. Three important avenues of development should be undertaken by fours. Relaxation, mental application, and expanded intuitiveness. Relaxation is an important means of achieving detachment from material concerns and from physical involvements when both become excessive. It also provides an excellent basis for mental and spiritual growth. Such relaxation is best achieved through meditation. Four should strive to balance their practicality with their mental, analytical, creative, and idealistic in their spiritual, intuitive, loving, and wise faculty. Hold on, give me a minute. The number four signifies the physical and material world, and it represents a foundation that a person can build upon. Like the four legs on the table that keep it stable, the number four represents balance, stability, and security but it also symbolizes restrictions and limitations. You will also be hard and reliable worker with a sensible attitude to whatever you take on. And while you are loyal, while you are a loyal employee, you can also exceed, succeed in a business of your own. You may be somewhat unimaginative, but you make an excellent financial advisor or craft person. And over time, you build up a great fund of knowledge while your capacity for hard work can make you rich. You are a loyal and loving family person and you are sensitive to those around you that you care about. And dependable family member. Sometimes stuck in your own routine, try to be too controlling and a bit too serious for your own good or for your lovers is not healthy. So I just want to say before I leave out of here as a four, you are the foundation. You are the foundation. And you can build upon that foundation. And even if what you build falls down or get knocks down, you still are the foundation. All you have to do is rebuild on top of the foundation again. Never forget that. Be a four. Keep up the hard work. Love yourself. And don't be so physical. Get you some mental and some emotion in your life to balance that out. And I promise you, you will not regret it. Love yourself. I'll see you next time.